The Queen had high hopes for Meghan Markle who got it before her and Prince Harry left the UK for America. On Friday the world commemorated a year since the passing of Her Late Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. Now, royal expert Ingrid Stewart has claimed the monarch would likely have had very high hopes for the future of her granddaughter-in-law Meghan Markle, reports The Mirror. She said, the late Queen was deeply saddened when he, Harry, and Meghan gave up their working roles within the family and left for California with her great-grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet. The late Queen loved him. So did Prince Philip. Prince Harry grins with Invictus volunteers, after marking Queen's death alone Harry was good company and made them laugh. The Queen has always preferred the company of light-hearted young people like her grandson Harry, to that of intellectuals. Harry would be the first to admit that his expensive private school education gave him nothing more than a quick wit and an excellent talent for mimicry. But he always got it and provided great cheer to those he met on official royal engagements. And so did Meghan. She smiled, pressed flesh and hugged the public in an all-embracing way. They were a perfect foil for William and Kate, who were polished and professional but still full of laughter. Don't miss! Prince Harry grins with Invictus volunteers, after marking Queen's death alone, report, Queen had high hopes to see Meghan and Harry take lead on international stage, insight, what the Queen allegedly said about Meghan in savage remark at drinks reception, latest, she added, the Queen had high hopes that the foursome might spearhead the monarchy of the future. Sharing the sometimes demanding, duller duties and supporting their father into the future when she was no longer around. Ingrid, who is editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, said, the Queen thought Harry and Meghan had universal appeal until the woes of the world and their lives took over and things began to go downhill. Even then she had high hopes for their multicultural appeal to the young Commonwealth, her baby as Prince Philip called it. Meanwhile, Prince Harry demonstrated anxiety as he returned to Britain on the eve of the anniversary of his grandmother the Queen's death according to a body language expert. The Duke of Sussex was in London to make an appearance at this year's Well Child Awards and gave a speech to the audience on Thursday September 7. Body language expert Judy James said that Harry displayed signs of anxiety during his address in which he paid tribute to his late grandmother Queen Elizabeth II. She said, Harry's speech was delivered without his usual cheeky humor, apart from a couple of quick glimpses that seemed at odds with his overall emotional displays. His body language signaled a sense of anxiety about being back in the UK. When he finished his speech there was no confident posing or joking, he stuffed his notes into his pocket and had to ask the host if he should wait on stage or not. 